All right. He doesn't look very dead to me. I'm sure we'll that uh. I'm sure he we'll take care of that. He looks perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna need He's you. Right I'm gonna need you more than usual to keep an eye on the chat because I, with this game's full screen, I have nowhere to put it. I can't see it. Hell yeah. I can if I really want to. I can kind of squint while looking at OBS. What you're saying is, uh, chat might as well not exist today. Mm. Take that, chat. No, I'll Just like an Alex worry. and John Raritan stream. <laughs> they talk to the chat plenty. <laughs> not as much as they should. <laughs> okay. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I've heard Fun this fact. Hmm? Literally. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Still that is true. No, oh, fuck it. I'm, I'm keeping that. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it. I don't care. I'm keeping it for now. Um, uh, fun fact. Literally, we were we were all set up. The reason we're late. We all we were all set up, and then Matt started the Discord call, and the instant the ringtone started, my computer gave up on everything. This is some real reaping versus sowing with how you refuse to ever restart your computer. I restart it quite often, thank you. Just you not should restart it once a day. People. Once I, a day. When your computer takes 25 minutes to restart, yeah. you could restart it once a day. Yeah, you you get up before you go brush your teeth, re start the computer restarting. I have bad news for you about my morning routine. The, as soon as you are out of that bed for the first time, restart the computer, go do whatever it is you were going to do, and then the computer will be good. Or do it when you're going what, to bed. Whatever it is I was going to do is rush to work because I laid in bed for four <laughs> Okay, so then when you go to bed at night, restart the computer then. <sighs> anyway, do you have fast boot on? No, I do not. All right. Um, but yeah, and then Discord like wouldn't load the video for me, and it was just this whole thing. And it seems to be fixed. We're all good. We are here just to Tigger. So I've heard that this is about two to three hours, so we should be able to get this in one. Two hours is uh, what, how long to beat says at the very least. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a visual novel they released for April Fool's Day. I'm not expecting yeah. it to be extensive. Yeah. All right, here we go. We'll do the normal rules for voices. I guess. I think Tails is the main character, right? So should I be Tails? No, I think there's a create a character. That really? Is okay. Character. Yeah, see? All right. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Fun fact, there are multiple names that apparently it will not let you uh, put in. Oh, uh, yeah, like this talking one. talking like... Yeah. I'm not even talking, like, curses and shit. <laughs> just, like, shit that's a reference to stuff. Yeah. So what is our name? That's a good question. Chat, what's our name? Tigger. It should be Tigger, actually. Will it let you put in Tigger? That's the question. Yeah. I'm shocked, <laughs> actually. All right. Oh, passengers can read my scribble. So you take the first character that appears, and then we'll trade off from there. That's good. I should probably take Tails, too, because I think he is, like, your right-hand man the okay. whole game. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Dining car. This is where they eat. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this my... Is this first day on the job, Jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Tigger, shake it off. Tigger, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, ho, ho, quite all right myself, though feeling a little bit of sweet. Oh, how do we want to handle the dialogue choices? I mean, you're, you are canonically playing Tigger. Okay, feeling a little bit of sweet. Is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up on the, the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Oh, this man's dead. <laughs> For me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. 
Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia unlocked. This man is so dead. <laughs> I've been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> uh, real quick, I should make sure that I have uh, scale filtering on, because I didn't check that. Yeah, there we go. Also, I kind of agree with Fangs. Just choose the dumbest dialogue option. Okay. I can see why his wife's excited. What? Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. I can open the inventory every time, any time, to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Uh, dining menu it features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, this chicken cordon bleu, right? Yes. Right. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you could read the menu, okay. <laughs> You're literate. <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train could really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this trade. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. Is the train your wife? <laughs> <laughs> this trade is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I, I remember, remember that, that from the... Oh, that's it. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I can't afford to lose this job. <laughs> you sure can. The severance pay is lousy. <laughs> the doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Ah, oh, whoa. So you were going to take Tails? I think I should, because as far, as far as I've noticed from uh, screenshots, I think he is like your partner that goes around with you. Okay. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. It's a fucking train. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh, it's her birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Yeah, already was getting a, started. It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What a cast of what cast of characters am I stuck with? Uh, Sonic, thank you for asking. Now, get a hold of yourself, Tigger. You're sweating through your uniform. Uh, all right. Okay, I think it was me. Yeah, hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Oh, of course, sir. R, are you a pirate? Oh, no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have the mountain ready. I will be coming around the mountain when I come. You'll join me, Tigger, won't you? you would like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Who should we start with? That's a good fucking question. Guess the uh, real question yeah, we is have a, who's, who, who, who's gonna voice who between Espio, Shadow, and Blaze? Oh, cr I, I don't think I, I've ever heard Espio or Blaze speak. Ever. I've only heard Blaze in Sonic 2006. I've probably heard her. I have no memory of what she freaking sounds like. Uh, Has Espio even been in a game where he talks? Yeah, he's uh, he's been in Sonic Heroes, and nowadays he's voiced by Matt Mercer. What the fuck? Okay, sure. Chat decides who gets who. Let's start with Knuckles. He's in Forces? Forces also has an inescapable... <laughs> 
death prison that they get out of in 30 <laughs> seconds. I don't trust forces for anything. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. I mean, look, he's got fucking spikes on his fists. <laughs> Did Sonic move? No. Oh, okay. He's smooth as well. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you the, any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle jelly. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way! Well, I brought my be... own sparkle gelatin with me, too! It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Oh, that's gonna be important, somehow. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far! We're sparkle gelatin buddies! Brothers, till the end! <laughs> Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Uh-huh. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard! Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. And also a bill. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah, did you not see the title of the game? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Man, that guy was weird. <laughs> Vector. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah. Sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Vector, were you even invited? <laughs> seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. It's all over your apron, dude. Don't worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that'd be amazing! Thanks a million! Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? She's the killer. <laughs> Windmill slam answer, she's the killer. <laughs> you see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime po oh she would. A true crime podcast. That checks out. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Like I can't judge. I also enjoy <laughs> a true crime podcast here and there. But she would. Before we move along for you, Mish. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl she... gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Why would you fucking give that to her? To someone. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Literally my job. I'm back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Weird. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I'm gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> Please, I'm one day from retirement. <laughs> oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best judging character. All right. How do we want to do this? The only response we have seen is Joe get... gets all three, and I don't think that's... Well, mathematically, you are going to get two of them. That's true. 
Uh, I'll take Espio for now. Fuck it. All right. Oh, Joe has to at least have Shadow if Matt has Sonic, but, sh but Sonic's gonna die. <laughs> Sonic, judging by the title of the game, will not be long in this game. <laughs> Could we please see your ticket? Of course! I don't know what SPO sounds that's, like. That's what he sounds like. It's now. the only joke voice you've ever had. <laughs> Pretty much. It's the only one I can do. <laughs> Actually, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Ooh. OBS uh, said we were at zero for a second for bit bitrate, and uh, then it said we were at 13,000. Nice. That's, that's fun. That's very good. I love that. All right. Uh, did you say this one? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. <laughs> Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. What the fuck does that mean? Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling to walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. All right. So apparently I have to take Shadow and you have to take Blaze, is what the chat has said. All right, so let's see Blaze. I don't remember what she fucking sounds like. <laughs> May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, and then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. <laughs> you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? So they're all fucking gremlins. Here. That's just a solid snake. <laughs> That's just, I don't know how else to read that word. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare, Ugh, so cold. You're all shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> good what exchange. is this? Welcome to the welcome aboard the Mirage Express. All right. I think do we have to find? Well, we gotta talk to this arm. Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Hey, girl, those are for our guests, you know. Train. Be sure Tigger only gets one of those if they ask. The train alive? Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together for a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Trat! Those snacks look really tasty, too. Do have to find Vector's ticket? Maybe? Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, there it is. Mm -hmm. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, was it someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Tigo, why don't you show our friend here what you picked up? This one. Ah, there it is! That's my ticket! Thanks so much to you both! I like the canon that Vector is always shouting. <laughs> always. Have you ever heard his voice? I have not. He's always, he always shouting. shouting. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery! The old Tigger here would have their hands full kicking you out. I You're right! I wouldn't leave without a fight! <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're the only other employee on this train, dude. You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. I like, by the way, how, like, clearly Charmy wasn't invited. <laughs> because SBO and Vector are both here. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure and also get murdered. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah. <laughs> You'll do everything in your power to make sure your guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely. And then we'll meet on the moon? Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pretty capable on their own. And train? Assist Tigger if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Sonic gets murdered, it's in the title. Look, this man is one day from retirement. He's fucking dead. Those are the rules. Oh, his little, Actually, his little patch here is the, 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 the emblem. Oh, nice. I'll be off. I must take... <laughs> You remember, I promise is an even bigger death flag than one day from retirement. <laughs> I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and our systems for dealing with all that. Also, we have an employee that's going to clean it. For everyone else, please talk to Tigger here. For everything else, please talk to Tigger here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. <laughs> it's... So I assume the joke is going to be he's raised all these death flags and he's not going to die. <laughs> but every ounce of instinct in my body <laughs> says that man is dead. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Look, Joe, I remember how Dagan Rumpel. I, I'm not making any assumptions about anything here. <laughs> <laughs> lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they'll be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Sounds like Tails got, like, kind of a bigger role than all the other friends. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and SBO the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, SBO? We get to hang out together! And do what? Read? Maybe we could make a tower of books or something. Can you read? <laughs> Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Mm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Uh, I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their rules. That re their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Amy handing out ultimate title. I have a map for each of you. 
Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. <laughs> I was very confused when it was like twisted. <laughs> it's a train, Joe. So in a murder mystery game, is the victim told ahead of time, or do you just find out when you get there that you don't? <laughs> I don't actually know. I've never done one. I think tip typically the host is the victim. Potentially, that might be the case. The rules of the game are as follows. There's a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can, can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Okay, so this is this is full on Among Us. This is not like a, a preset murder mystery party. This is just Among Us. <laughs> yep, Amy just made Among Us. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will get will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. Who would not kill the detective immediately? <laughs> I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations! Ah, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses! I know, it's kind of scary. I'll admit, I'm nervous too. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. That's not what that means. Makes sense to me. It doesn't to me, but okay. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. These They're two sound too drunk. similar for you to be playing both of them. They're getting drunk. All of them. That's what I would do. It's do you not. All, I don't do you, drink very much, but... these Joe, do you want me to take Amy? Because you've got most of the characters, especially after Sonic gets killed, and these two sound very similar. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'll take Amy. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Jesus Christ. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna That's lie, this kind of sounds fun. That's just a journalist. <laughs> Holy shit, a flicky, yeah. <laughs> Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving! It, it's so fast! Grab onto something! The, the train. What's going on? To, was it not supposed to move? I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Uh, ah! No! Was the train not supposed to move? Not like that, it wasn't. Oh, by the way, uh, Peter and I found out after this came out, the music in this game's done by fucking Joel Corliss. Uh, who's that? Uh, he... I first learned about him through his soundtrack for The Unfinished Swan, but he did the soundtrack to Eastward and he worked on Halo. Nice. A couple years ago. He is the only composer that has double dipped and been on two entries on the top ten for the year. Nice. And he just randomly shows up in this fucking game. You're both awake! Yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Wow, how exhilarating! I know! The production on this train is astounding! It's definitely more intense than I expected. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We are getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. 
I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Tigger, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm. Seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf take that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. You didn't bring a hammer, did you? <laughs> I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Sure, Tails. I'll be the sidekick. <laughs> Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. So it's your first day on the job, and uh, you're like a waiter at a murder mystery party, and one of the guests walks up to you and says, you're my sidekick. Do you quit that job immediately? Fuck no, that sounds awesome. I'm just like, I'm they thinking about this through the you... lens. I'm thinking about this through the lens of like, I don't, I'm not paid enough to deal with these customers bullshit. Are you kidding? This is, this is like the least customers bullshit I've experienced in food service. Normally they're just throwing drinks on you. <laughs> Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I'll need you to... Oh, uh, I wish I had a, an echo. <laughs> I'll need you to do everything in your power to make... Now it just sounds like me. <laughs> Does, I think Discord has, like, built-in stuff for that now, doesn't it? Uh, not as far as I'm aware. All right. Not that I've seen. <laughs> make sure, in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Understood. Ah, uh, what a flashback. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-Flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Alright, should we investigate first, or should we talk to her first? We should investigate first. Okay, let's as see. As much as I want to know why the fuck she's holding a spoon. <laughs> Here's the wet floor sign. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Tigger, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. That smash? It looks like somebody took a fucking bite out of it. There's nothing the shelf could could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before the train. Er, before the train has too much upkeep. Ugh. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. No, it's not. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? It's not empty, yes. I can see it from here. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Uh, when we get out of here, sure. Normally, I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I feel very called out. I could cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> you and everyone after lockdown. You gonna tell me about your sourdough next, Tails? I've only had microwave lunches this week. I think that's everything. That appears to be everything. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dare ourselves out. There's no brown... Take ourselves out on a train? I'll keep looking. Find any clues yet? Oh, I, oh okay. Repeat. Start interrogation. I don't what? think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? I guess there's more. At what? There's gotta be another way out of here. 
What did we not look at? Can we look at the door itself? I don't think so. Uh... Do we need to look at something again? Do we need uh... to... Okay, that just makes you look at it. That's just a map. Can't be it. <laughs> oh, shit. Saving does sound like a good idea. I'm There's getting a phone mind. call from my tax accountant. Fuck yeah, taxes! I don't know how long this is gonna be. I'm just gonna mute my microphone. Hi. Entertain the people. What? I, uh, I dance for us. Fuck that. <laughs> Never. Never. How's everybody doing? My thumb is currently in pain because I. So I've been going through and starting to play like a bunch of 3DS games I missed back in the day that I just never played. One of which is Samus Returns, which I'm almost done with. Um, holy shit. It is so weird to go back to a 3DS after spending so much time with the uh, Switch. It's so tiny and the slide pad is in the worst fucking location genuinely hurts to play sometimes. I didn't have that problem with Persona Q2, because that's all D-pad. And the D-pad's in a fine position, but like, fuck. Slide pad hurts. I've exhausted my, uh, my subjects, that's the word. Yeah, mine's a, <laughs> mine's a new 3DS XL. Or no, mine's a new 2DS XL. The Pokemon one. It's got a button that presses. It doesn't do anything. They stopped calling it that in English before the system came out two years, 12 years ago. I would not know. Am I still playing Soul Hackers? I haven't gone back to it. Uh, because I've had other things to do. Like, play other video games. Um... I do plan on going back to it at some point, just to... I haven't made it very far. Uh... What was I gonna say? I don't even know what the slide pad's officially called. I've never known it as anything other than the slide pad. Um... What else was I... Like, what games did I grab? So, Circle Pad. That's a stupid name. Of course it's Circle. I can see that with my eyes. Uh, I, like, grabbed pretty much all of the Atlas stuff that I hadn't played yet. So, like, Devil Survivor and s and 4 and all that shit. I've never played Etrian Odyssey, despite really liking Q, Persona Q. So I grabbed a couple of those, and I'm going to try those. So that'll be cool. I never played Shadows of Valencia either, so I'm probably going to play that as well. Uh, a good amount of the games I I grabbed were actually a result I'm back. of the stream we did on uh, Seren's channel. Hi, what welcome back. on Seren's channel? I was just talking about the 3DS games that I got. Ah, good, good. Yeah, and I, um... When we did that, that uh, rating stream, uh, I remembered quite a few games that I had not played yet. Yeah, I will, I will shamefully admit that I did not really end up buying anything because I have a personal rule that I don't buy games that I don't plan on playing immediately. Because, like, like that, that, that had to become a thing that I did for my own sake. Just, like, I needed to get a hold of my, my, my spending and budget stuff. So, like, I just, I could not justify buying anything that I didn't know I was going to play. So, 
I should probably have a rule like that, but I don't. There's a poll behind Amy that we can click on. Ah, beautiful. What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Oh no! I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. All right. This is you, Joe. The real, the real tragedy of the eShop closing down is the existential crisis of confronting the question, will I ever actually get around to this game in my lifetime, or will I just keep putting it off? I'm wondering when I'm going to lose steam on playing these 3DS games. We'll see. <laughs> Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? Crimes How don't dare become you? legal. Crimes don't become legal when it's your birthday. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, they I've, do. It's like the I've purge. Tried. This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Uh, attempted to escape. But I want to say microwave the chili dog. The answer is attempted to escape. But yeah, the answer is attempted to escape. I told you, I'm not eating until it's birthday cake time. You legitimately never told me that. Ah, let me think this through again. I don't think you were sitting idly while Tigger and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it! Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Why are you hiding this? Do we have evidence to prove that? Tigger, let me step you through this. First, find the correct... You look stupid, child. Let me take you <laughs> First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that's been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Hell the night. I think it could be either of these. But I'm gonna, I, think I think probably crack on the shelf. I think it's the crack on the shelf. Okay. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no what? argument here. You're grasping. Look at how it's broken. Why did why did Tails' portrait change when he's not speaking? Ugh. He's okay, reacting. Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, uh, I, uh, well. Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? Run very fast and eat some. <laughs> what would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He always, he's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad dicks. He never loses. Except for that like, one time. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure. Whatever works. Oh, please start an endless runner. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Please be a fucking weird minigame like Danganronpa. All right. Let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. So I did I did see something in this in the options about making this, something easier. But I I <laughs> oh, then no. I then closed the the window. <laughs> like Sonic would do. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's fucking psych taxi time, baby. Riveting. Zero says this gets hard. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. 
And you I just... will have justice for my shelf friend. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? We're gonna be rapid firing these, I see. So fucking stupid. I love it. Thank God. There it is. You made it. Oh, you barely beat that one. I mean, I wasn't giving it my all because I knew that we were going to get it. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. Eh? This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all, all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it. And I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. Yeah, it's legitimately stupid that you tried to hide that. Mm. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little tighter to carry. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. That's not how shelves work. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. That's not how... We did it. We're it free. Work. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. I'm going to have to clean up all of this. <laughs> Wait, is that? There it is. <laughs> it can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to, to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Tigger. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. That's not what he said. <laughs> so I leave their care to you, Tigger, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Title drop! <laughs> Expect at least 10 of those Sonic stages, apparently. Well, two down already. Yeah, 10 doesn't sound like a lot. Wow, look at this place. Alright, who do you like more? 
Tifa or Aerith? Which one, Matt? This almost feels like it's gonna be a, a secret decide who your sidekick is. <laughs> I feel like for safety's sake, I should choose Tails. <laughs> hey, Tails, where are you? Bigger, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Hey, yo, what's this? <laughs> uh, wanted. There's a reward. <laughs> Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Shadow is on this trip. <laughs> We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense. I can't shake what Sonic said to me. He's just very tired. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? He's so sleepy. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. It's my job to keep an eye on you. The train rules say I gotta stay here and watch after everyone. You just want to hang out with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. How is everyone great at reading people but me? You're just easy to read, dude. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh... Where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true! You farmants. What are y'all doing in my saloon? So I, he, he is a, So they did this. On an accident. They did this just because of the, of the, the Sonic of the OVA. OVA. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy Bosey threw and told me all about it. <clears throat> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that, that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Uh, I can't believe Cream ditched Tails to join Eggman. No, it was the, the Flicky. Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? You're the only two in the room. <laughs> I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Tigger, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Uh, should we try talking to him just to see what he says? Sure. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. If the other one was, please don't beat me up. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? said, leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? <laughs> I said leave! Can I take your order? <laughs> Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Tigger, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. And that's food service <laughs> to a T. Excellent. Thank you, Butler. Dang it. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look to be more caused from punches. Oh, he Who could have done that? He salt raged at Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Tail's face is really good. <laughs> Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Oma Chow. Hate to see them like this. What'd they do? Medical <laughs> malpractice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so is that a reference to something? I don't I know. Don't know. I don't know. I don't think it is. <laughs> Interesting. Hager, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Amuchao is basically a doctor? What the f Oh, back alley doctor. Okay. Sorry, Twitch chat's really small on my OBS screen. Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Hager, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone must have been there. Someone else must have been here. Knuckles is more of a rouge. Oh which is God. ironic that it's not rouge. <laughs> we should lock this. I think we found enough clues. I'm sure there's other stuff to look at, though. I'm sure. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Like this... Peanuts? Chili? Ah, uh, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Kind of bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt off them. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're just unsalted. Huh, that's funny. The door's locked tight. We can't go any further. You crawl under it. <laughs> I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? Crawl under it. We we'll have to keep this in mind. They're saloon doors. Howdy, partners! <laughs> Howdy, partners. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing in my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible! What interesting tech. Personal uh -oh. space, please. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Oh, the Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. This is the step oh, ladder of, of this video game. One of them's gonna have something in it. This is the step ladder. This is the step ladder. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. To this, day, they... uh, to this day, I still check every trash can and put one, knowing that all of them have nothing in them. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Good. Spittoon free establishment. Visit Coliseum Highway Zone? Is that wait, I don't think is that, I don't think that's a real one. That doesn't sound familiar. Bad. Either it is or it's a way too deep cut from like Sonic Rush or something. Alright. Well, I guess. Did we let's check talk I don't think we checked the window? Oh, Breathtaking yeah. views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Apparently, apparently Coliseum Highway Zone is from Sonic Rivals. What the fuck? <laughs> but can we... There we go. Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. <laughs> I bruise easily too. Guess it wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, nah, I'd fight you. <laughs> Sorry, Tigger. I wish you luck. <laughs> He's not actually gonna fight me, right? Knuckles, Tigger and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Here, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Peanuts. Super Monkey Ball. It's a shame to see Super Monkey Ball in this state. The arcade machine? Ha! <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? 30 rings this time. Oh, I got all three of them!
Shit. Oh! Um, well, you see, we... You have no argument here. You are weak! Ouch. Digger, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? No, I only got two. Knuckles is right, I am weak. There's the idea. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game! Well, Super Monkey Ball has adrenaline pumping <laughs> Monkey Ball action. This proves nothing about the current situation. <laughs> May have been a bit off the mark there. Let's, let me try again. <laughs> Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because your hair was found at the scene! Hair? You mean fur? Fur? You mean spines? Doesn't matter, because it seems I'm wrong here. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches! What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are y'all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me except for the high quality of <laughs> Super Monkey Ball. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? Published by Sega. I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it. Take your distract knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. What? We need to distract knuckles. Come up with a plan, quick. A jump in difficulty. I it can sure tell. is. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Oh no! Okay. okay, what does this tell us? <laughs> Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. <laughs> Picture's beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score, and Vector beats you by one fucking point. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. <laughs> He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to he was here now. <laughs> There's definitely going to be more than 10 of these. It depends on how many uh, interrogations there are. Says, I said at least. It just reminds me, it's always like this old joke that's like someone was telling me about a story from one of their film classes where like the professor said, uh, how, like, how many movies do you think have ever been made? And someone legitimately answered, at least 10. I mean, they're right. <laughs> they are. They're correct. <laughs> now, Tigger, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? It was the used cups. No! I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's not, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. As you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine despite my love of the high-quality game that is Super Monkey Ball. No proof of his win, published by Sega. I'm just... 
I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. Not small, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag because we own it. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. I can't believe Rouge doesn't like Super Monkey Ball. Doesn't she know that it's a very, very good game? Made by the developers of F-Zero GX. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Toast. It's Toast. Tigger, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Ultim? I guess Ult. Oh. Oh. What am I missing? This is the ultimate. Oh, shit. <laughs> All the other names have a food theme, but this one... Who here goes by Alton? You may not know, Tigger, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and <laughs> he... <laughs> This, fruit, this implies that Shadow plays Super Monkey Ball <laughs> at home. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone that he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door, except for Amy. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key, too. Yeah, she has a master key, dude. That's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Shadow probably mains cure you. It's... <laughs> well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we come when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. Library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, would you? For me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Tigger. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Tigger! Coming! All right, off we go. To the library car. No way, Tech Nabbit. You got it, partner. You got it, partner. Ugh. Hang in That's there. Mosey. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> what is that? What is it? It's Hold on. Let me let me uh, take a quick screen cap of this get you a higher quality in the Discord chat here.
<laughs> All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Oh, can you guys not see what it is? It's, uh, here, let me, let me make this a bit bigger here. Right, right there. No, that's the Sonic Forces create a character. <laughs> yep. It sure fucking is. Ah. Uh. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Ah, uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. And of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now! Not on the menu. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now? I'm Vector, the butcher! I'm licensed to handle raw meat! I don't like where this is going. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh... Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. Dee dee dee. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Figure and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. And we were all sent off. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. I can read. Vector got bored. <laughs> Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. I noticed Sonic uh, was in the conductor's area. He sure was. So the conductor might be the murderer instead of instead of the death flag victim. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search at the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. And then I did the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? He wasn't raised in a barn. Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then return to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckle- Oh yeah, he's a locksmith. That's true. He handles keys. <laughs> That's- I forgot about that. 
When Becca came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelf falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you! Then if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Our alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post, and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. Like it's he definitely tasks, can. But we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Alright. No, I can't examine no. either portrait, but I can examine Hang In There. <laughs> a chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang In There. Wow. I really needed to see this. <laughs> This little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety. <laughs> because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? For some reason it didn't occur to me that they have wings. <laughs> Ooh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Tigger, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a this... map of a library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are all listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm more of a stalagmite, man. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. I've raised Chow. Using his wings might not be a choice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, it's Cola. Check out our book club. Check out our book club. Look, 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 look. at <laughs> right, What else we got here? Cool. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. I'm I'm gonna say my theory right now. He's doing it because he doesn't know what a locksmith is. So he <laughs> seems he's just supposed to fucking lock all the doors. That is my bet. That is what I'm saying. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. What if the train's the murderer? Ah, uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Pigger, no! Don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time, I'd have How two many rings. How many rings would you have? I'd have two rings, which is not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Digger, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, no, I'm all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. Don't worry, buddy. You really think so? Um, yeah, uh, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Yeah, okay, these trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Figure you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. W was that supposed to be a compliment? So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out, too, searching for something. 
What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. There we go. I got an itch on my back in the worst possible spot. This kid feels empathy for everything. Except me. <laughs> Except me. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food the food can't be beat either. Oh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. Sonic Unleashed is like the only game I haven't played, so I don't know who Professor Pickle is. Aside from so shit like Sonic Rivals, that one doesn't count. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Yeah, dude. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and, rec and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Eggs. Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelette. You may not be wrong. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Okay, I am pretty sure this portrait on the right here is a dude from Sonic Unleashed, though. I think that's Professor Pickle, specifically. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on, then. Well, I need a little peek, wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the books, book titles excitedly. It's like a kid in a candy shop. Or in this case, a, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Why would that be in the library? Do you think, you think someone, someone found it on the ground and put it back? Why would that be in the library? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. My favorite Eggman lore is always the mundane shit that implies his crimes are irrelevant to his participation in society. <laughs> Remember in Sonic Battle when he was a weapons manufacturer for the government? Yep. For the United States government? Yep. What a game. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vesper and Espio and find out what really happened. All right, Espio. And see a poem. Ooh, trains. Trains. Poem about trains. How about a poem, poem about, about trains? trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I've lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. Actually, I really like that one. Huh? Can I take your order? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignored the grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs sunny. I just noticed the chow on the left has, a, has an <laughs> egg on its head. Oh, wow. Um, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. Let's get that, let's get that poem about space. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. <laughs> That's not how that word is pronounced. But I mistake in my haste, dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? So the two of you don't believe us, eh? Not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. I didn't think that it'd be, we'd investigate both of them at the same time, so now we're not going to get vector dialogue. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Which actually reminds me that we have not saved. No, we sure haven't. Pigger and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car, and if he can read. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to, pre to present evidence if needed. 
Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? He wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Victor enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Ah, then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Must have been a good read. What was the book? Uh. Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. I can read. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what book on what that book might be. Tigger, could you help me out? Was he reading the manual? All right, Tigger. To the train? What book do we think Espio may have been reading? It's the only book in our inventory. Why? Doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. <laughs> A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? All right, 40 rings. I hope, I hope the stupid joke I've been making all stream is real and Espio, Espio doesn't know, does how to read. Not know how to read. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck's going on there? Okay, now we know. That went by very Ooh. quickly. Are those big shuriken? There's they something. Sure oh, because Espio. He's a ninja. Oh. Okay, that checks out. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now! I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. You know, you do know they're not actually a butcher <laughs> and a poet, right? Like, you understand that, right? That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. They sure are, buddy. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, Tigger, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Page should I quiz him on? 97. Okay, um... What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean, it, can clean itself. I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Yeah, they'd have to pay them. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Tigger, hit him with another one. Oh, okay. Which page do I choose? 231. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Tigger. Let's see if SBO can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? 23 is number four. <laughs> I picked the other two. I'll let you pick this one. Four or two. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease, and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? No. I hate to say it, but no. Huh? 
Just goofing, you passed. I completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please. But you joked and chafed, said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Did he just rhyme a curse at me? You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we, don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. He answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Hector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. You definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Tigger? He always puts me on the spot. Alumni! <laughs> okay, Tigger, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading. But what? Um... The lock? I've seen it. Okay. Shadows lock? Please, pray tell what this has to do with anything. Oh, we're, we're up, Tigger. Let's get our argument together. It means he walked through the room. It's not hard. This isn't like a logic puzzle. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta, you gotta have your facts straight. <laughs> Very glad that I am not in the driver's seat for this game. <laughs> it would be an absolute disaster. How long do you think a murder takes to <laughs> You know... Approximately one murder. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it! It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the, sal in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his books for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Huh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. It was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, you, uh, you see... You can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if he didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Tigger. One that would I would love for Espio to solve, because I don't want to. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't... I didn't... Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice the sh Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Tails is the smartest person in this room. <laughs> but something doesn't feel right. Hmm. I don't think this line of reasoning makes is really relevant either. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Let's defend Espio. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. 
We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Ah, the library map. It's a fucking disaster of a library here. Yeah, this is a terribly laid out library. But there's this bookshelf here that makes inexplicably no sense. Yep. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. There was that one time I got all four rings at once and then never again. You got all three rings at once. <laughs> I still can't even do that. I'm sure you will one day. Man, it's like they're putting the rings where the shurikens are gonna go. Shit. Uh, it's not like you fucking lost that much. Yeah. You lost what, like four rings? The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exit? They're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you ha you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Right there. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. Espio's character portrait, the horn, doesn't have... It's not colored in the lines, and it's bothering me. More That's just the art should. style. More than it should. Es uh, Vector's ba uh, apron is like that, too. And Tails' jacket. Me? Why would you tell me that? And hat. That confirms it, then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from the spot because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize, I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like it was Brex big despite telling the truth, but I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Great Fox will cover you. Thank I you can't... both for answering all our questions. I can't see, uh, I can't see the alerts, by the way. Uh, Missing now gave us one bit for Pokemon. Pokemon. Said this isn't Pokemon. That's we got a schedule for a reason, you know. But uh, Tuesday is Kingdom Hearts and Sonic Day. Yeah, normally this would be a Kingdom Hearts stream. But we're taking a one week break to watch Sonic die. We did it. Another pair of alibis val validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened it itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. No, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our clue to leave. Our cue to leap, fuck. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, tick. Tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. We're not At this in point, the caboose. I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. We're not in the caboose, though. Come on, Tigger, let's see what's next. Coming. All right, onward. Bring me any meat to slice up. Uh, no, I'm not sure we will, actually. You're a loss. You realize to getting that character doesn't mean you're actually a butcher, right? Like, you don't know <laughs> how to cut meat. You sure you don't want to stay and look at the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Let me catch you up, Alex. Uh, Sonic is dead. And Knuckles <laughs> that, and Shadow... That Chow is and... a bouncer. 
Knuckles, Shadow, and uh, Vector all played the great game, the fantastic quality game of Super Monkey Ball, published by Sega and made by Guess the developers. Guess you're just gonna have to watch the VOD. <sighs> oh, this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. Yeah, where does that door lead? That's an <laughs> elevator! It's an elevator! <laughs> Holy shit! We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Why would it be... Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. That second thing is in on your lore card. You told us. All right. Well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that Fabergé Chow Egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually Why here? Always we? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written on it. A score of a lifetime. What a coincidence, when you turn the numbers upside down, it says Leon. <laughs> the one piece is real. What do the numbers say when you turn it upside down? I don't think they say anything. Yeah, I don't think they say anything. How's the writing been so far? Pretty funny, honestly. Why would the blueprints just be in the library? The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh. Finders keepers, sweetheart. I didn't ask you to give it to me, I asked you to read it. <laughs> There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? You understand that I work here, right? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. More crime is legal in her dimension. Tigger, do you have an opinion on this? It's technically weird. <laughs> it's a little inconsistent on what her dimension is. Because it, it, they introduced Sonic Rush, and like, yeah, she's from an alternate dimension. And then in Sonic 2006, that alternate dimension is just 15 years from now. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so I don't think there's an easy answer for which is the funniest because stealing is for squares is what a fucking nerd says yeah it's something I would say yeah that's why it's funny so I don't know what the right answer is here I don't know what the, the stealing funniest one is stealing is for squares alright stealing is for squares I think the only square here is you microwave master I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool and mysterious reputation. It's crumbling. All right, all right, I'm in. I'll help. 
Yeah, to be fair, uh, the read I've gotten on Tigger is not that he's not a <laughs> massive fucking nerd. <laughs> well, I suppose if both Blaze and Tigger are in... Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan... Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Ice seed! Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg Room is locked behind is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard? Attack! It's just a Chow. Attack and dethrone God. Fight. I'll a fight. I can't say I'm comfortable attacking a Chow. Let's keep violence to a minimum, shall we? Less fun, but I agree. Let's think about it again. Oh, apparently the numbers are the date of April Fool's. Good. Bribe the guard. Anyone have anything we can use for a bribe? I have a pair of tweezers. Oh, here's a trading card. I'm not giving you anything. Maybe bribing isn't the way to go. <laughs> Distract the guard. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Tigger, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. I'm gonna be in a casino. My poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Tails. Yeah. Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way you said that. Vito. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, really, I can, I can do it. Sorry, buddy, but I think you'll be better off, off elsewhere. In that case, who should we choose? I'm starting to realize it's I, Rouge. The answer is Rouge. I'm sure. I don't know if I don't know for certain if I've ever seen a line of dialogue from Blaze before tonight. <laughs> Blaze, think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. Guess you were wrong, Joe. Damn. What's the distraction? A bunch of poker chips <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> the claw machine is stuck. Causing a ruckus. I like it a lot. That'll get the guard's attention for sure. Let's move forward. But the guard distracted, Rouge. How will you get access to the... How do you How do you get the access card? Make the fucking pocket. Act, ask the card! No harm in asking, right? Oh, you naive, innocent soul. Such a fresh face, this one. So cute. Do you suggest we take the guard out shoe shopping next? They'd love I don't think Chow wears shoes. These ladies are ruthless. I better rethink this. Grab and fly up to the raptors. I don't know. I don't want any violence. It's not violence. It's just picking up. There won't be any violence. I'll just tie them up to the raptor easy. Where do we get the rope? Interesting point. Maybe we should try something else. Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you for crimes, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Tigger, what's your plan? Scary guard over. Say there's a drink without a coaster. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that one might be the all correct of these, one. All of these are good. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Fuck yeah. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What's your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? Sorry, yeah, Alex. Alex. Sorry. What? Be with Blaze. Uh, I, I, um, he dressed far too plain. You need a complete refashioning immediately. You know what? Maybe we should try something else. <laughs> Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. Hey, she never insulted your looks. All right. What else? <laughs> I don't know which one's gonna close this entire thing. I'm assuming it's say this a drink without a coaster because push, push the security, security guard over. I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. 
It's just a little push. Ah, that chow's it. low to the ground. It won't hurt them. But if they start crying, it'd br bring unwanted attention to us. Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? Decent point. Let's think of something else. Say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. With the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to the elevator. Inside, we... Up sing victory a yeah, cappella. Victory a cappella. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? High five, High five each of them. Each of them. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't given away willy-nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. They all humored my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. All right, what do we say? Tie them into one big knot. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Uh, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Does that mean Tails can't tie a knot? Guess someone didn't want to hear my song. Have Tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no! Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Brian. I imagine you're not in pain. Well, these are all good. <laughs> They're all really good. Cry and hope they sympathize. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. Just cut, just cut to us being, yeah. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow egg. <laughs> Which fault is it? What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too? Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. Is it in those gold bars? No. Damn. No question. This has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code and then on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? I thought she was about to go, no witnesses. <laughs> Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these eggs has never lived to tell the tale. All right, let's open it right here, fuck it. You can open the egg? No one who's gone against Lucy Diamonds has ever survived. You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Uh-oh. We're all gonna fucking die. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg's secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg. Now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge! Oh, fucking explode, Rouge! Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. 
what do we do with a bomb? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh, shit! <laughs> Tell the egg to stop! <laughs> stop! That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Eat the egg! Not without any salt, I won't. Really, Tigger? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Wanna finish by the finish taking and see what happens? <laughs> finish taking and see what happens? Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Tigger. <laughs> that is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right! Tigger, I think you're onto something! Wait, what? Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on that train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as this Fabergé Chow egg, the arms would have detected it and, it went, and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Yeah, but that was the right option! <laughs> okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Ooh. My, my, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch is right, thankfully. And look what's inside. It's just a fucking bejeweled chow. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé chow, chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a, sp a sparkly ornament? Well, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. The other two were probably bombs. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? Because the other two weren't bombs. What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Did you not question anything when you walked out of the elevator he's guarding? Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was speaking. I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge... Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders keepers. I'll leave them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures. But I promise I'll let you take a, a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. I don't know. It seems to work. I don't think there's any, any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock it's the door so you can continue forward. I'm 100% right. Shadow just doesn't know what a locksmith is. <laughs> oh, I have to be right. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. 
He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Tigger, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Oh, now we can talk to people. Hey, Knights. Twinkle Park! Ah. <laughs> there it is! Capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. That one's on the clock. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Tails, we must search the trash bin. It's empty. Oh? Oh? Did I hear an O? Oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive her to he would drive her to work ah, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. Bigger, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that's um very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's here. Digger? Digger, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. <sighs> hmm? That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with <laughs> casinos. He's an evil scientist that's always caused trouble for us at Sonic. Hmm. Every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised, then. Okay. Hmm. Should I give the slot machine a try? Yes! Yeah. Alright, let's see. Big money, big money! Daddy needs a new pair of shoes! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yeah! Yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, no. My loss, but maybe next time I'll get it. <laughs> I try again. Just in case, just in case. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Oh, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. All right. No, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. Have you ever heard of the sunk <laughs> cost fallacy? Sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have heavily, heavily invested in it, even when it's clear that abandonment would be more beneficial? <laughs> of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? <laughs> no reason. All right, big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. Uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. All right, big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when it ends. I also don't know. I'm also worried at one point we're going to fucking win. Oh, that's the end of it, Zero says. Damn it. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought you <laughs> thought I lost you there for a second. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right, Blade. Oh, hold on. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Well, you want to play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play either. <laughs> Tigger, we simply don't have time for this. We must have been Sonic. Probably a good point. It's easy. Let me show you. Oh, fuck off, Tails. Damn it. Some hold them. Ah. Damn it. God damn it, Tails. You're such a fucking narc. All right, Blaze. 
Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I take your order? Can I interest you to anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Hello and welcome to Big Money. <laughs> we could tell. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. I'd like to report a murder. <laughs> a second one. Your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure. We left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked to this casino car, where we then left, went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I kept that's why I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. It's possible to win the slots! <laughs> Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Look, all that tells me is that the slots are winnable. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later. Sure. If I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. So mean. Your alibi? You think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him being in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. All right, ready, move on. I think we got what everything here. What if the slots are win? No. <laughs> what if the slots are winnable? <laughs> ah, well. Damn. Let's find Shat. Maybe after a few games. <laughs> Let's find um, Shadow. Um, mystery. <laughs> Slow you down. Ah. We're almost to the front of the train. Now's as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. Hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, that's you. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog bugs delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. By the way, how's the chat? I still can't read it on OBS very well. It's the same. Somebody shouted big money. Thanks, Shadow, big money. Mm. Uh, Danny Stream said, I need to watch you live more. Everybody should watch us live more. So that we can uh, brag <laughs> to Neil about <laughs> how this wasn't you know. completely a mistake <laughs> to let us hear. <laughs> not saying a thing. You lot all have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? We're on a train! <laughs> well, Tigger, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright. Ready to find some answers, Tails? 
Indubitably, my dear Tigger. Oh, God. Amy is clearly a 3D model. What? Like, everything else is... I think everything is a 3D model, and it just... It's well hidden. Amy is clearly a 3D model. Tigger, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Customer's always right. Yeah, Tigger would never would never <laughs> make Tails open this wardrobe. Alright, watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust! You opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere! <laughs> He's dead. We killed him. Bad end. I don't know if I agree that that's clearly a 3D model. It looks fair. I can, like, see it. I don't know. Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pole string? Tigger! What? It's gotta activate something. What? The, the back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. How big is this? How wide is this fucking train? <laughs> Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh shit! This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back through the passage before they spot us. That changes everything. We need to add that to our inventory. Presenting Big Chow Band. Take a beat. Visit Music Plant Zone. Beautiful. Tell me more about this Chow Band. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Give us a jam. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Why is it Diddy? <laughs> they don't miss. Those Chow understand music. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no. But I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Bring me a cold chaos cola. Eh, nope, not listening to me. <sighs> Quite parched too. I could run and get a chaos cola for you. Ah, no, I'll be all right. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. Will it give you a high five? High five, high five, high five. Doesn't seem to be listening to you, but I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Trashman. Trashman. I, I saw the trashman, don't worry. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. It's a shame to be, the, be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Wow. Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge! What a view! You can see him, right? Shit. <laughs> Perfect. Brilliant. Beautiful. No notes. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. I love how, like, we've Stockholm syndromed ourselves into, like, like the fandom as a whole into ge genuinely loving <laughs> Big the Cat. Like... We I all agree. So much. I don't know if it's so much loving Big the Cat as loving the presence of Big the Cat, <laughs> where Big the Cat should not be. <laughs> That's true. Which that, <laughs> that did start with Sonic Adventure Two. You remember how we were just being being levels yep. in Sonic Adventure Two? Do you remember the reason? I think it was. Wasn't it? It was spite. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. 
despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Leave mine. Hmm. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Because he's been giving them out! Want to take him? Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. He doesn't know what a locksmith is. Seems the printer's hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the like user the interface dinosaur? isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. That's all printer user interfaces. There he is again. Sonic and his best friend in the entire world, me. <laughs> yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. What's the other one look like? Sonic rowing a boat. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. It's really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Never. No. <laughs> Fair Not enough. Once. Holy shit. <laughs> and there, work like a charm. There, here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I love Sonic and Gura. Do you think Corona is somewhere in here? <laughs> uh, There's a non-zero chance. The so mm, I, I think it's a relatively low chance though, because Co Sonic and Corona is a is a Japanese Sega thing, uh, and. I, I have it in me to believe that the, the the Sega of America team are not people like us. Rony, where? No, you don't understand. Alex, Corone has been on official Sonic panels. There is DLC for Sonic Forces in Japan Frontiers. that is Corona, or Frontiers, that is Corone themed. Like, she's in Sonic. <laughs> yeah, uh, unironically, Sonic has shown more affection to Corone over the last <laughs> decade than he has to Amy. <laughs> anyway, we know why we're here. Oh yeah, there's no other reason. Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Tigger, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Tigger? There's always something always in the trash bin. The trash bin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> someone print. Oh no! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this is just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. I hope we never use this. <laughs> I hope we put this in our fucking inventory and we never use it. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Uh, I don't think we checked the door. Okay, boring. Yeah, that's just the leaving door. Did we miss anything? We didn't talk to Amy. Oh yeah, well th this time we know not to interrogate immediately. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised, I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been through. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing, sharing is caring. caring. No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. I can't fault that logic. You have priorities. I respect that. Who's Tigger? It just makes ticker. sense. We're well, Tigger. Yeah, I'm Tigger. Uh, is there anything else? This is just. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Can you please tell us? Yeah, same same dialogue. All right, Shadow. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. What's Tigger's deal? Uh, we work on the train. We work for the train. Yeah, we're the, the microwave technician. Not someone that fix a, fixes a microwave, mind you. We operate the microwave. <laughs> yeah. And it, our job ends there. <laughs> Tigger, we certainly will not. Can I take your order? I'll pick you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. Coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. And a coffee? Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. In a coffee? I don't think I agree with that, Tails. That's a hot chocolate thing. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Oh, I hope I know what it is. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked a conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Your conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly! I think Tigger and I can explain the car change, however. Tigger, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? It's... The hidden, the hidden, the hidden passage. passage. Or... The crumpled paper. No, no, this feels wrong. Uh, I was hoping, I was hoping... That the hidden passage. Specific dialogue. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Here we go. Why is your inner, like, mm -hmm. thought Sonic? Like, uh, specifically Sonic. Because Tails ta taught us to think what would Sonic do. That was like literally a line of dialogue. We're getting hit by Chaos Spears. We sure are. I was pretty sure I was gonna fall into the pit there. <laughs> Tinker and I find a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Yes, yeah, safely. That's what it looked like he did. Excellent work, Tigger. Oh, I think I know what hmm. the... This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, that, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Do you have a theory? I have a theory as to, what's as to what happened. Let's hear it. I don't think anybody murdered Sonic. I think Sonic just fucking died when the train smashed. <laughs> Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off the dining car. 
Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I'm also thinking like Eggman might show up. I, I, so before that we- That seems too easy. That seems well, too so easy. So my thought before we started playing was that Eggman would be in the game and we'd walk up to him and he'd be like, why do you just think it's me automatically? <laughs> But since he, ha obviously we can't do that because he hasn't shown up at all. And the conductor could still be Eggman. We have time. Oh my God, if the conductor is Eggman. <laughs> the conductor could still be Eggman. <sighs> and then Tails loses another sidekick through <laughs> loyalty to Eggman. We've cracked this wide open. Uh, I've already read this. I am, but of course, this is just a theory. A, a game theory. <laughs> I don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Hm, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it'd be hard to sneak around two people. Figure, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He also made sure that I knew he could read. <laughs> He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, you know what game it was, <laughs> I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Tigger and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Tigger, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The key ring. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Here we go. Mipha's Diary and the Breath of the Wild DLC is weird. I mean, yeah, it looks like a Sonic game. And that is bizarre. <laughs> I don't remember what was in Mipha's Diary. I don't know. Is it just that she wants to fuck Link? Probably something about... ...loving water and... ...Link. <laughs> There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espio and Vector. No way! Well, what if his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow was telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? He's a locksmith. She's right. The theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Tigger and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? Tell him, Nagy! <laughs> First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Tigger? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. 
That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted it to keep us away. Or maybe yeah. he can find us. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy. You and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument. So maybe Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Tigger. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. Shadow would you know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no, why did he think he was here? <laughs> oh dear. Tigger, show me evidence. He's huh? gonna die. If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? It's my time. At last. It feels right. <sighs> Just organize my thoughts. We're about to see a second murder. <laughs> oh no. Shadow. Oh, no. <laughs> Shadow, oh god, buddy. I'm gonna have to watch this hedgehog die a second time in my life. Jesus Christ. through the trash every huh? single one what is that we found this in the trash bin next to the printer it's a it's a of a band's ticket website tails don't <laughs> this is hot honey's website no way i love them uh hot honey it's the band i'm currently obsessed with jeremy b is Oh, my favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. What's wrong, Fangs? What's wrong? His name's just Jeremy B. What's wrong? What's the name of the of Charmy's cousin from the comics that died of a drug overdose? I have no idea. I did not even know that was a thing. But it oh, it's a thing. Me. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey's Band's ticket website exists because... Shadow's a big hot honey fan. Leave now. I don't know what kind of music Shadow listens to, but it's obviously not this. Look, look so at him. Shadow look at him. You know buying... what kind of music he listens to. So Shadow must be buying concert tickets as a birthday gift for Amy. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer myself printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. Amy, I'm gonna be real with you. Shadow's a better boyfriend for you than Sonic. That's what Zero just said. <laughs> <laughs> when logging onto the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Probably our fault there. Ah, uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. 
When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status and life, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Oh, that's the appointment. Oh, no! <laughs> Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while she waited to buy the tickets. While I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I hand, oh, for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. Didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet. And after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets It's later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh... I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! I can't wait! The show of a lifetime! Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. Do you think Shadow's credit card is a Visa, Master Emerald <laughs> card, or Mobius Express? I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two! I think Shadow oh, only pays through Zell. That better be the credits. <laughs> If pictures of them at the concert is not in the credits, I'm going to be upset. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who's the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Tigger, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin Sonic's murderer for good. I'm becoming more and more convinced there is no murder. Right on, then. Let's do it. All right. Fucking, Before we move accident. on to the final train car, you want to take a bathroom break? Yeah, let's take a quick break. Okay. Very quick. How am I going to mute us properly? when I'm on PC and you're coming out of desktop audio. Just, just mute. Just deafen on Discord you can see me. Uh, <laughs> hold on. No, I need to be able to hear you for when you come back, though. You'll be able to see when I'm back. Okay. I guess I'll be that, on camera. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. All right, then. Don't go anywhere, everyone.
every yeah, all right. every every fucking time a fucking Pikmin quote comes up, it's my favorite. <laughs> Which one is it? I can't see. Come on, kids. Papa needs you to help commit an act of domestic terrorism. <laughs> I really, I really do gotta fucking stream Pikmin 2, huh? You really do. All right, All right, here we go. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. That's that song from Splatoon. This looks like a very eggman -y device. Remember the story of Clarence, the cautionary tale. I forgot about Clarence! I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels... empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him, th seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. What? Tails, what the fuck does that mean? Did this fall over when the train sped up? I'm not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. The conductor's a wife guy. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. A microphone! We can talk to the whole train with this! Hmm, should I say something? Start beatboxing! Start beatboxing! Tigger, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Tigger. Thank you for sharing. Please step away from the microphone. Never do that again. <laughs> didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no. Just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. You're like the only person in this train that I would trust to drive the train. <laughs> It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys. Can't hug with ro robot arms? These arms can hug if they wanted to. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck. Yuck, how oh, creepy. Why did I, why? <laughs> that arm is powerful. <laughs> you were like reading Tough it in Shadow's voice grip. too. <laughs> A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation just definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Hmm, what's this? Is someone playing darts? Oh my god. That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. But what about the conductor? Who orders the arms around? Who watches the watchman? Let's make note of this. I think we've found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. I disagree, uh, Tails. Does, oh yeah, that's true. We missed something, Tails. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check the trash bin. This game. Stick to your convictions, Tigger. <laughs> I'm mad now. <laughs> Satisfying with satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. 
I'll go out on a high note. No, fuck you. You check that goddamn trash bin. You wow, the conductor looks bin. so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his, with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Check the trash bin again. I swear to God. I swear to God. No, no, they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Let's give it a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was just going to be the same fucking thing. You gave it so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing in there? I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Huh. Nothing in there, huh? Oh no, you look so sad about it. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see. Is it a clue? Maybe just leave Tigger alone for a second. Can we check the vents? So happy there was more dialogue. <laughs> a vent! Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, the uh, tails. Right. Tigger! Ugh! Why oh, does tails look so smug? Because he's a detective. Did we get the this? Yeah, we, we got yeah, it. That's the first thing we got. Is it an odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figure he's had to drive the train the whole the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. I hope he's all right. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> He's fucking dead. He's Can I not dead take Shadow's shit. order? No, I can't take Shadow's order. We asked earlier. We asked in the last yeah, well, Maybe I can get him that coffee now. Well, We're you two? dining car, Matt. Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. Wait, we're gonna do that in here? The smallest room on the train? What do you think, Tigger? Ready to solve this case? Yes. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Tigger. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Because he's dead. Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. That explains so much. I love escape rooms. Count me in. So glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Ah, huh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He's actually he, fucking dead. He's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. There's a pulse. It's weak. Set him down, Vesper. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. 
I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? So level with me has Tinker committed criminal <laughs> negligence by leaving Sonic <laughs> He was still alive when Tinker talked to him! Barely, but he was still alive! <laughs> this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt! I'm going to expose the monster who did this. It was the fucking train. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything. Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too. Same! We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time. I did nothing. I'm gonna get sued. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, take her. I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Is nobody an answer? feel like I, I'm supposed to click on this. Do it. What, what's the most wrong we can be? I feel like the most wrong we can be is probably Amy. <laughs> Let's start with Tails. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. Ah, that's right. Let me pick again. It's good. It's good. Say that for both of them. No, don't uh... let me. That's stupid. I'm right. Uh, I don't know. It's probably Vector. I don't trust him. I feel like it's probably going to have us go through all of them, and then the dialogue is going to be like, wait, no, none of these make sense. Probably. Hmm. Huh, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh, well, uh, I'm put on the spot. Like, this is hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. Knuckles. I guess it's Knuckles. No. Nope. Espio. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't think I get it. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic. Weren't you? I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Thank God. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Oh, he's the only one that didn't have a solid alibi. Just circumstantial. Yep, I guess. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that uh, needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Tell Tigger him, Nyagi! <laughs> Tell him, Nyagi! <laughs> Tell him, Tigger Aggie! What did we find that brings into that brings into question Espio's alibi? Vector's been acting protective. I think what brings Espio's alibi into question is Vector's suspiciousness. He's been oddly protective, and I believe he knows something. Way to tell the room you don't have any friends. <laughs> you go to the mat for your friends. I know Espio wouldn't do this to Sonic. <laughs> you friendless loser. I think you were a bit off there, Tigger. Okay, change of strategy. We discovered a hidden oh. passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exists behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Tigger and I can explain that too. Tigger? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's a poet, so a quick reader. Espio's a poet. I feel such a profession would make you quite, a, quite the reader. But he's not actually a poet. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? 
That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. But he's not actually a poet! <laughs> I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the <laughs> for me. Oh shit! I'm, pre I'm pretty sure either answer would have would have worked, and it's like supposed to be the ninja one, but they let the poet one work because it's stupid. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, <laughs> there's this Knuckles reads. Then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since, since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. Uh, so, Alex, Alex Vector's real voice is so stupid that Joe thought I was doing a bit. Yeah. Uh, Alex, I know you. Okay, so you have that. But what about my Espio voice? What's your rating on that? I'll wait. Here, give, give another example of it. Oh, you're right. How was I to know about the hidden passage? <laughs> it's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Figure and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Tigger, why is Espio a clown? Look at him. <laughs> Fucking look at him. <laughs> it answers itself. Who <laughs> here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Same vector. Maybe, How does the train have a hidden hit? passages between cars that are like only connected in one spot? This is the weirdest train in the world. Oh, I actually don't know this. It tells us we look to see something later. Now it's time to take a look. My, my guess is Shadow? Because Shadow. No. No. Really? Who said we were going to look at something later? I don't remember. It's crucial evidence I've forgotten. Uh... No. Probably Rouge, I guess. Ah! Oh, the blueprints! Fuck. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Tigger, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant, however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Tigger and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. We, we do? I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Tigger and I have evidence on how it was done. Tell them, Nyagi. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell, if I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Uh, I, guess, I mean... Is it the blow dart? Uh, I guess it's gotta be the blow dart. That's nothing else. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Tigger. What would Sonic do? I keep forgetting that we called him Tigger and his name's not just Tigger. <laughs> I still kind of can't fucking believe it let us name him Tigger. I mean, they can't account for everything. Yeah, but you'd think Disney characters. Well. What? That was a little rude. Joe, do you know how many fucking Disney characters there are? Yeah, a lot. So you just put them all in the thing. That's how code it works. Trust me, I've done it. Like, how are you supposed to? Okay, that's how. Yeah, just get good.
This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. This the fucking tr- According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? In the blow dart? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have he would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Picker and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of film, <laughs> Oh god. Is it the arm? I guess it's the arm. Uh, it's the one we haven't used yet. Nope. It's gotta be the blueprint. I did to it's the only All thing right. that makes sense. Now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Tigger. Think. Think. Let's take a look. Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car. Then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's... there's a path above the conductor car. And it goes all the way to the dining car. How are we supposed to see that? Huh? Even I didn't see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? Fucking vent. Do people not know what vents are? <laughs> According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. It's just a vent! The Can't vent, of course! Logic. That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word! There's a path back here, and a track! A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path to, that the arms take to move throughout the train! So you're saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I knew you realized we both couldn't fit up there. Espia's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. What kind of soft school moron <laughs> would use the phrase long attic rouge? I... <laughs> obviously. I need an answer! My name's getting dragged around here! How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Arm! Arm! I gotta think Arms. about my arguments. You can do this, Tigger. You can do this! What if one of these was just randomly fucking super monkey? <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> Shit! I'm dying, Scoob. Has there always been shit happening in the background? Have we not been paying any attention? I mean, there's not a lot of shit happening in the background. Yeah, but that train track, those train tracks are weird. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of those robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles, Knuckles said, said there's, there's a track. Knuckles said there's a track on the, the robot arms used that continues through the vent. 
A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. But you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Tell them, Nyagi. Amy, you received a hot scoop, didn't you? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Hales, you're... you're right! Espio lied to me! Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic! But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise! That scoop came from you, Espio? No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. I didn't say you were trapping Sonic. I said you were na napping Sonic. Misheard <laughs> you? Yes, I said uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight. There's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Uh. And now you're lying to me? On my birthday of all days? Everyone knows that's illegal. I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. That it only could have been one person. Go on. It was, it was you, SVO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey guys! Sonic! You're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer! Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me! A blow dart, though? Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Right. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. This train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? You need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a Flicky. Jesus Christ. A Flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a Flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the what conductor the, the What if it's the Flicky that betrayed <laughs> Tails? I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the Flicky, I felt a sting in my so shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! 
What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow. I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pinned me to the floor. <laughs> the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten ser so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games work. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die? Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. You see? Put on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. What is that? It says, use the blow <laughs> dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. Signed Staff? Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Make a fucking guess, Amy. Who or what? Tigger, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The train, train itself. itself. I was right. Tactically. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while, so I think... The train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us. I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Come out and show yourself! You're Amy! Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy! This train can have it! Yeah! Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Well, I think we got its attention. What did you two do? Hit the wall really hard. Is that the conductor? Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. I like how it has a little bow tie. <laughs> we were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. Is the train his wife? What are you? Enough. Is the train his wife? The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic. Ha 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. Is Goodbye. It's the train's ah. wife. Whoa. No, no. I can't keep my footing. Uh, ah. Well, roll credits. Game's over. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ah, uh, my head. 
Tails? Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic! I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hang it in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. When the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Oh, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Uh -huh. Good idea. Lead the way. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerves showing up here, egghead. Oh, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Wait, wait, wait. Does that imply <laughs> that he has multiple and was just hoping Sonic would get on one one day? You own the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Uh, ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement is, isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. Heartbreaking. The worst person you know has a good point. <laughs> so I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess. Another deck egg? Uh, ah, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? People fear giant spheres. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bad dick is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic Pitch Hug. <laughs> but for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision, and report to me if any of you happened to board. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. It really is just a... <laughs> just a CEO. <laughs> so I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First, to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train. They may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged into dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train is the motivation. Being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposefully had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time, we were all in danger. And I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I didn't try hard enough. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey! I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when I negative thoughts hit you, on. let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think this through before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap-before-you-think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward. Make things right. 
what was Sonic's role? Was he the conductor? He was the, the, yeah, the ship captain. The ship captain? Yeah. On a train? Yeah. Oh, okay. Breathe. Okay, it's a passenger train, so it, it like it's the class. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Have you ever that ride ships aren't allowed on trains? You know, That's murder on the Orient Washington. Express. No, it's good. You should you should see it. We gotta get the, to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Believe in yourself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails, of a, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, Don't worry, Sonic. Tigger, big money, the waiter will keep your impulse in check. So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Wow, with one big wind up, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get the door open. Now that, now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it too. Actually, we gotta check the trash bin. I get oh, it. Sure Let me know when you're ready. I don't think there is. There has to be a trash can somewhere in here. Oh man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train sights couldn't be beat. And I was excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. Train That'd company's owned by Eggman. That'd be great, because I still don't know where my wallet is. The conductor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin holder. What was his ticket doing here? Maybe he confused a napkin for his ticket. And his ticket ticket for a napkin? Huh. <laughs> Hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here, too. No, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Wow. So angry I built this train, huh? No sense dwelling on it now. We know what we have to do. Wait, what song is this? Is it? This is It Doesn't Matter! Ready to go save our friends? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. The conductor car to end this mystery. All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this! Man, it's so weird. This that was a... train now looks exactly like my thought process. That was a direct reference to Sonic Frontiers. Oh, we are in fact speeding up as we get more rings, making it more difficult. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him! We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go! Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. No, I made a mistake there. Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. 
Let's boogie. like an animation of Sonic's smacking face first into a door. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more! Let's go! no way to treat the birthday girl you're right i'm ready to stop this train time amy, to finish you're this <laughs> you're in the room that stops the train amy <laughs> excellent work trapping these pests now hurry to me i must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for eggman land and probably another death egg don't teleport us to the future. Teleport you all oh, to the future when I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Yeah, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. It's just one hand. This is a bad time, Suki. I'm gonna level up you. Boss fight? Uh, I guess not really a boss fight. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? What do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Hot went in a weird direction. <laughs> it's great, and though. I, and I know that's odd to say about the game called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. But you weren't ready for Yandere trains. Egg, Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? I can definitely hear these words of this music. Like, uh, I didn't quite hear that. You're a little quiet. I said I can definitely hear these word in this music. One hundred percent. I'm pretty sure it's the same fucking sound font. <laughs> or the sound. Conductor! The... You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Braid, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why so must clearly. you insist loneliness upon me? Is this Joel, Joel Corlitz? It is, in fact. Peter and I found that out, like, randomly the day after it came out. 
No, stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this! <laughs> we have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train! Oh fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> now fight the train, Matt! <laughs> I always knew that the true downfall of Sonic the Hedgehog would be public transportation. Holy shit, just barely, oh my god! A flicky? This is just like the lore card, when my ex-best friend left Detective <laughs> to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad thing. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save it. On it. Let's show our full power. All right, uh, that means Sonic, keep doing things. There's so much happening on screen right now. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me, selfish? How, how dare you? This is the game about that's Sonic the Hedgehog calling a janitor selfish. To be fair, the janitor is forcing, uh... Look, what's a war crime or two between friends, alright? Uh, a lot. We st are still friends with Alex. Yeah, that's because we both- that's because me and Alex bond over our war crimes. You saw me play Pikmin. <laughs> I would like to again. No, 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 no! I'll grab the flicky! Suki is looking at me like she has no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Redemption arc for SBO? Yeah! It's over! Time to pay for ruining my birthday! The only crime you committed! <laughs> Literally the singular crime! Can't think of any others. Train's slowing down! Great hit, Amy! <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day! I hope Hi. it cries. I, I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Shed a tear. Do it somehow. Damn it. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Fucking murdered this thing. It's dead now. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Cool. <laughs> that was actually kind of sad. Yeah, it was. <laughs> we did it! Well... I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Where Watch your does step. the elevator go? Watch your step! Watch your step! It 
it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Where does that elevator go? Where on this train? <laughs> Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh fuck! No, don't please don't mention Vanilla right now. <laughs> bad, bad place, bad time, bad timing. <laughs> really bad timing. <laughs> really bad timing. <laughs> oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you. I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. I hope Tigger comes back. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation, something terrible. Why is it bad timing? The internet. <laughs> the internet did a thing. <laughs> and I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor's more than ready to begin his retirement after this. Like, so what about your job, Tigger? I'm happy for them both. Are you unemployed now, or...? Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. <laughs> Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, SBO. <laughs> so what? I looked over at the chat for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. Do the power animals of Badniks retain their memories? No, but... This, after Sonic Adventure and Gamma's story, this would not be the first time that they had an emotional through line with the bat, with the animal that was in a bad deck. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. Very cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. Microwave. Microwave. <laughs> microwave. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. Microwave. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis, telling Naegi to tell them. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, Five, guess what? Three, this three, station three, has a bakery. And look what I bought. Never forget a, what they took from us. Birthday cake. Wait, Happy birthday, birthday, Amy. That birthday cake has Amy Prince. Holy shit, how did they make it that fast? <laughs> I'm, was this the destination they were always going to? I doubt it. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. Oh, yeah, the bouncer's here. <laughs> a memorable party every year. He's standing between Amy and Sonic. <laughs> bouncer's my favorite character. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if a person, if personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Oh, you guys. We Amy's almost got murdered by first. <laughs> we almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please! Dig in, everyone! Hey. I hope it's chocolate. Only the only the power of dark chocolate can fit the color of my soul. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Let's go, 
That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath! You don't know or Orbot's voice, do I, you? I do not know Orbot's the voice. The happy rubber voice. duck or the angry one? Angry! Sour choice, your evilness! Shot it! Fucking let's go, dad shirts. <laughs> Holy shit! And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Tangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. But what about your job? Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I. I stuck with the gig. This is where I belong. Tigger, Tigger is, is nothing if not fucking mm. dedicated. And then. One million to the one lottery, million one million to, to the lottery. lottery. And after all that. I now run a local supermarket. Yeah. That's just been my life. That gambling paid off, baby. The slots the slots paid out. I Jesus loved this. Christ. This was so good. I'm counting myself as having played this, by the way. Yeah. It's official you, novel. Yeah. Oh my god, I loved what? this. This was really, really, really good. Holy shit. That's a that's a that there's a top tier April Fool's joke. Sega's American branch gets Sonic way more than Sega Japan does. Honestly. Holy shit. Between like between the comics and this, it's like I would follow I, I like I would follow these to hell. I would follow these people in hell. Alright, all these writers, y'all did great. I'm surprised Ian Flynn's not on there. A little surprised. But that I am also happy that he's not like the only one that gets Sonic. I'm glad that there's like clearly a a a whole team of people that gets it. Confirm for me that I am correct and that it was Joel Corlitz, baby. And Troop Gamage. Use a special thanks to Johnny G. <laughs> yeah, they, they sampled. Uh, I could hear that they sampled some of those songs from Sonic Adventure. Oh. Fuck. Bouncy Chow and Director of Brand. Oh, fuck. It is times like these that remind me, yeah, yeah, I do really love Sonic the Hedgehog. I just, you know, I like him when I'm not having to play a Sonic game. <laughs> you haven't had and to play a Sonic game in years. It's all been me. Hey, technically I played one on stream. That means I, I'm, I, it counts. I played Sonic 2 on stream. That means it counts. Shout out to Abby Sherlock. I don't know who you are, but I imagine you probably heard the same thing over and over when you approached to play test a mystery game. What? Someone there was someone in here named uh, in the playtesters named Abby oh. Sherlock. Yeah. I apologize on the world's behalf. So, Katie Krasanowski, so she is we're the We're past the we're past the parts that actually worked on the game. I think we can probably no, we're, this is, we we this talk is through the credits of every video game. Yeah, but if it's going to show me everybody that works at Sega, regardless of whether they touch the game or not, that long. stream's been going for four hours. I suppose I can get the schedule up. Ah. What did you think of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? It was good. It was very good. <sighs> yeah, I'll make sure that the, the, the credits are still visible behind the schedule. Alright. Joe, tell us a little bit about the week. I'm playing Pokemon on Thursday. Matt's doing DSI rankings with, I guess, some Pokemon there on Friday. <laughs> 
and then I'm getting back to Persona 3 on uh, on Sunday. Sorry, I don't like Pokemon, guys. Seren legitimately Great came in. outside Justin's house. Wait, what was that? On the credits, one of the special thanks for moral support was the stray cats outside Justin's house. You didn't want to watch the credits. Beautiful. Anyways, that's the week. That's it. Alex is still uh, has betrayed us and is living real life like some sort of nerd. And we saved one time during that entire game. We saved, no, we saved more twice. than once. We, we saved, saved twice. We saved a couple times, I think. We saved twice, I'm pretty sure. One of the production pets was, in fact, Big the Cat. Jesus fucking Christ. God. Uh, and then next week, it's we're starting Aqua's story in mm -hmm. Request Sleep. Yeah, so unironically, Seren saved the Pokemon streams. <laughs> if not for DSiWare, I would have quit them. Very quickly. Uh, sorry, I don't like Pokemon. Yeah, I think really people got like that Pokemon. like the 30th time you said it. Uh, but yeah, that's the week. All right. Everyone, I hope we had a, a good time together. I had a good time. Joe, I'm not gonna I got I'm not gonna be able to unmute you after <laughs> once we go to the, the ending screen. Because then the stream will hear you. That's okay, it's eleven PM and I literally have to get in bed now. Yeah, you don't want anything to do with me. So everyone, thank you so much for coming. Uh I hope that you had a good time. I know I know we did because I liked this a lot. So everyone have a good night. We will see you on Thursday. Gotta close this. There we go. Bye. Good night.